We're going to take you live to the state capitol right now in Austin, where the drama continues to unfold for a top Texas leader. Only four days left in this legislative session, and a House panel is accusing Attorney General Ken Paxton of breaking several laws and abuses of power. Yeah, our Chris Sadegi joining us now here in studio with details on the stunning allegation. And Chris, it's been a wild week for lawmakers. And this conversation has really taken over the capitol. Some unexpected drama between two Republicans, prominent Republicans in Texas, here in the final week of the legislative session and now we have even more accusations and a literal dumpster fire in a very rare occurrence a house committee heard from investigators about an ongoing investigation and they laid out accusations of nearly a dozen possible crimes against texas attorney general ken paxton among the accusations abuse of office official oppression dereliction of duty and conspiracy all of this has raised the idea that the house could consider impeaching Paxton. The hearing and the investigation is causing a back and forth between Paxton and House Speaker Dade Phelan. This statement from Paxton threw a little more fuel to the fire, saying Phelan is trying to sabotage his work as AG and every allegation is easily disproven. Speaking of fire, this only added to the intrigue, a dumpster fire outside the AG's office on Wednesday. The office tweeted two videos showing the fire and then another showing someone in a white jacket and head covering that they call a person of interest. And all of this is happening just days after Paxton asked Phelan to resign, accusing Phelan of being intoxicated while presiding over the House. Texas has not impeached a statewide elected official in more than 100 years. So if an impeachment is brought against Paxton, it would be a very rare thing. A, a big deal, and we know that Paxton's already facing felony charges on separate accusations, but this investigation was started by an entirely different matter. Right, and he's no stranger to uh, accusations, to indictments, and this really goes back to that $3.3 million settlement he reached with the whistleblowers who were in his office. Those whistleblowers accused him of abusing his power by doing favors in exchange for big campaign donors. So this investigation is also looking at Paxton's request for the state to pay that $3.3 million settlement and whether or not that was appropriate. Yeah, a lot going on in that investigation. We'll definitely keep our eyes on that. Thanks, Chris. And we do know that's a lot to keep up with. Our Yaltics team is down in Austin covering the latest on this legislative session, and we're keeping you up to date on where things stand over on our website, WFAA.com.